I've kind of been that dude that every year when you when you come in, there's like a part of your game, one or two parts of your game you, you might try and focus on to improve. Is there anything this year that you're looking at or is it more all around? I want to get better at rebounding both sides of the ball. That's about it. Everything else, I do the exact same. We win a championship, and I'm happy. Do you dictate rebounding just in like if you have two more per game, or is it like? Oh yeah, it's a huge difference. It's two more extra possessions, so I can go from three and a half to five. That'd be real nice. Is it is it just numbers, or is it like I got to box out better on film? Like the well, I just got, not your rebound. Yeah, just box out better. Just pay more mind to it. You know, around player. I think you had a 10 rebound game last year, at least one. Uh, Hopefully. <laughs> I think I had a double-double one time. Yeah. Um, when you have a game like that, where you, I mean, are you aware that you're grabbing more rebounds than usual and uh, how, what it takes to do it? I'm not really that much aware, more aware, but it definitely looks better in the box score at the end of the game, you know, especially when you don't do that often. I actually remember that game. I was against Brooklyn. It was at Brooklyn. And, uh, yeah, that 10 boards was nice, 23 and 10. I felt like a big man, so... If I can do that more often, I'll be, I'll be great. You, you want to talk about wanting to get to the free throw line more. What, what do you think is the key in getting uh, some more opportunities there? Just keep using my pump fake. Yeah. I'm never going to be asked to break guys down to dribble as much on my offense. You know, I, I mean, off the catch, definitely. But uh, utilize that pump fake because guys are just flying out at all of us. But like Steph was saying yesterday, he told us how weird the ring night can be. The other team is sitting there waiting 20, 30 minutes watching you guys just to kick your butt. I'm curious now, having gone through it a few times, do you have you feel the same experience? Is it a strange, um, stranger game the most? Uh, it definitely is. Uh, we've had a, one great ring night, one bad one. And um, it is a different feel, obviously, especially the lead up and the hype to the game, but. I'd rather have a ring night every year than not have one, that's for sure. Uh, I saw you working out with uh, Damian, and Steve said he's probably going to start the first uh, preseason game. How have you seen him uh, develop this season? Uh, it's just great to see how aggressive he's become, especially on the offensive glass. And when he's around the rim, just playing, being active, he's so big and strong and athletic. He's going to make great plays. And I'm excited to see what he does with you know the other four of us out there. Um, we saw glimpses last year, especially at OKC, of what he can do, and I'm excited for DJ. He's been working real hard. It's obviously a very different game with you know, DJ and Jordan and Kavon as opposed to D West and Zaza and those guys. How does that play? I mean, how does that change what you do, or does it much? Because those the other guys, the veteran guys, are mostly screen setters for a yeah. lot. How does it change what you do? It really doesn't change much, honestly. You know, I still play my same game. Um, these guys learn from Zaza and D West about the fundamentals, how to be a great teammate, and you're going to see it, especially, uh, I mean, you saw it last year in the playoffs, you know, Kavon and Jordan played huge minutes for us and helped us to win a championship, and that's definitely a carryover. Steph turned 30 last year, Kevin's turning 30 Saturday. Is it weird to see, you know, kind of your age bracket of guys growing up? Get old? <laughs> hitting that uh, landmark? Uh, Man, yeah, it's weird just because it feels like yesterday I was watching Kevin Durant at Oak Hill and I was watching Steph at Davidson, so it's uh, it's definitely different, but that's life. I mean, we're, at least we're getting wiser, that's for sure. But um, it's crazy that, you know, all approaching, me and Draymond will be there in a couple of years, so it's, uh, it's happening before we know it, and it's, it's, it's honestly kind of fun. Does it feel around the corner, like really around the corner? Uh, I still got no. I'm still 28 and 29. Is, I'll still be holding on for dear life. So doesn't feel around the corner yet, which I'm not mad about. Have you thought about different ways you're going to try to help yourself age as, as you kind of get into your 30s? You know, like Steve was just talking about. You know, guys really have to start focusing. On yeah, absolutely. I mean, diet I learned is everything. You know, back when you could take a lot of time off in off season. You get past 30, it's hard to, you gotta continuously work out. Not super strenuous, but stay in shape because it's so much easier to get out of shape than it is to get in shape. So, uh, 
just got to be more meticulous with your training and just just realize that at the end it's not it's not near but it's sooner than later so you got to just embrace every day because this doesn't last forever it's gonna be a sad day when the ball starts bouncing well, you've talked in other seasons, and this is about like 50, 40, 90. What's that like? I mean, you've come, you've come so close to it, but obviously it's such a difficult thing. I mean, what's that like going through the season where we're almost there, but not quite? Shows you how hard it is to do. Uh, it'd be a great I mean, It's such a elite club. Only like seven or eight guys have ever done it, so I'd love to join it. Two of my teammates have done it, and uh, I think it'd be special to have three guys on the same team who could accomplish that feat. Yeah. What, do, what do you take away from those guys? Oh, I think it's what staff and Duran and Nash and Mark Price. Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller and Dirk. Larry Bird. Yeah, Larry Bird. Yeah. And Dirk. Uh, some of the greatest shooters, players that played ever. So that would be awesome to get to clips that I know would be extremely difficult over a two-game season, but I think I could do it. In your, in your mind, does Evans have the potential to be a really solid shooter at this level? Can you say so you're, yeah. Definitely. He's got the confidence and uh, so strong for how young he is. Are his mechanics? Where they yeah, he's good. Go? They only get better as a two. Well, well, I know 30 is approaching for some of you guys, and it's already arrived for others, but at the same time, after three championships, you're still, have, you're still in your prime as far as performance. How are you showing that for you guys, not only this season, but does that help with the last part? Most of the core players here are still in the crowd. They're not aging or anything like that. How reassuring is that yeah. this year and in the future? Oh, it's awesome. It makes you want to win now. That's for sure. It makes you want to make the most of it. I think we have in the last two years. And it's crazy because we are back-to-back -back chance. But at the same time, I feel like we're all relatively young and we can still get to another level and keep winning. Not just this year, but years beyond which um, my, not a lot of guys are confident they can do that with their team. So it's such a, I love coming to work every day because I realize this is a special group and a special time to be a warrior. Will that be on your mind next summer when it's kind of time for you to make a decision one way or the other? Yeah, definitely. I think it would be stupid not to be. Uh, it's hard to walk away from something that you were here when it started and, and um, yeah, you just want to stay on the train as long as you can. Is, is part of the reason you come out so kind of forcefully that you want to be here is because you're going to try to cut down some of the speculation this season? Uh, when you go to cities and people are probably going to ask you this question. Uh, not really. I just don't really care. It's just how I feel, to be honest. I just, uh, this place, it's, it's home. And um, I, 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 I love, love living in the Bay Area. How much attention do you pay to another guy like, like Jimmy Butler's situation been that both of you guys are all-star point guards. I mean, shooting guards. Both of you guys are two-way. <laughs> both of you guys are two-way stars. Um, do you watch kind of that unfold in Minnesota to see kind of how that's going to play out for him? Uh, well, I'm just curious to see where he goes. He's such a great player. He can um, really elevate a team to championship contention. And uh, it's unfortunate it worked out in Minnesota, but I mean, Jimmy's a. He's one of the best players in this league, so I know he's going to be. Some, I know it's, some teams will be lucky again. Play how uh, Andre? Where do you see his role being similar, or different? Of like, we know what he brings and his value, but just the idea that there's a lot of younger guys on this team. Yeah, well, Andre's a great teacher, and uh, since he's got here, since day one, he's always been so willing to teach and to lead, and he leads by example better than anybody I know. Um, talk about being effective in your 30s, man. This guy's in mid-30s, still jumping like he's 25, and he takes care of himself better than anybody I know. So it's motivating to me and the rest of our teammates, as you were saying. Thanks, Thanks, boys. Boys. No problem.